Uh, Navi on the CT side. Yeah, we've got a pistol here coming up. Couple sets of utility here. Flames is going to be working with Nico, but simple with the CZ in connector. This is already looking like a very good round for Navi, and it's starting off very well. Oh, instant trade coming out from Nico. It's not bad. There was a backup there as well. It could have been a bit dangerous, but um, yeah, we're just trading it evenly. Bomb all the way over by the playground, so they're not really doing much at the moment. Nico is the, the most forward player that they have, but if they control connector, I mean, they could do a lot from here. There's a lot of quick rotations that they can make. They haven't taken too much ground towards short or bathrooms, although Navi have backed off most of these angles at this point, so they're pretty devoid of information, although it does seem that Perfecto may have an eye on what's to come in water. Yeah, he's really far. I don't know if he can escape from here, but maybe he doesn't want to. Nice peek. Nico definitely knew that that was happening. Didn't let him escape or anything else, but all three of the members of Navi are actually down here, so maybe OG are thinking, all right, we've cleared out two people near the B bomb site. It's going to be clear, but it's absolutely not. Everyone is still at the site, so three people defending. Boomich with one, Bit with the other one, and they're going to continue. Electronic is there, and that gives time for the rest of Navi to reload. Perhaps for Navi to rotate three people down there initially. But when it works out like that, it just looks really cool. They're gonna buy four MP9s. That's kind of that's pretty excessive. Simple so far is getting the kills with the with the only from us in play. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, I'm just going to be looking for some duels here. Let's see if he's able to find anything else. Okay, the one rifle has been taken down. One kill with four Glocks is not too bad. And now Alexi B looks like he's not long for this world. If he's able to find anything else, that would be a miracle. This is, of course, with those SMGs. Don't let OG just run their game plan here. And it's a 1-4 setup that they're working with early on. Bit actually is giving up all of the A site. He's playing a connector right now, but OG are waiting for that push. They know that there are likely a few SMGs still on Navi, so they're taking their time. And if it were to be that instantly aggressive play, OG would have been ready for it. Not the case though. Navi are in an interesting setup that is not going to give OG a fight just yet. I mean, from Bit's point of view, does anyone ever rush long on this? That never happens, right? So, so he's not really <laughs> worried about that. Always frightening to potentially run into a scout right here. But there's yeah. nobody there. So, you know, OG will do their due diligence in terms of utility. And Flames will be able to acquire a lot of information. The question is, does he just back off of this early on, or does he go, go for the reverse clear in bathrooms? Either way, OG, they're congregating outside of B at this point in time. And this looks like it has to be a monster explode. Yeah, they don't have any information about anyone on Navi. They haven't, they don't know if they've, I think they threw one flashbang on long. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's not selling any kind of a aggression on it, on any level. Bit's going to go check and find no one here. So they're certainly going to keep everyone at B here right now. Alexi B, though, he's deep in the bomb side, grappling around the pillar, and that's a free kill on Perfecto. What a start to an actual B attack. But Electronic bringing it back, simple as well. He went out for the sewer tunnel, back through Munster, and got his own double kill. And now Valda is just trapped in here. I feel like how deep OG were in this bomb site, they should have won this round. Valda doing his best to try and bring it back. I don't know how he's got that double kill, but he did. Six seconds on the clock. I don't think he can win the round any longer, and he's going to be forced into the fight here. We'll get one more shot. Oh, yeah. he could have hained that sort of play from OG. In fact, it looked like they were completely ready for it. Alex, if we were on a team together and I said, I think we should go B. Don't worry, I threw a flashbang long, so they're probably not going to be there. Would you, you be excited for that play? I'd be saying maybe we should keep them a little bit more honest, get a little <laughs> bit more map control. Can you throw at least two flags? <laughs> yeah, at least maybe push them back somewhere else. At least a molly. I mean, that could have been more in that round that we don't know about from OG's point yeah. of view. But it looked, a, it looked a little bit like they were not using a lot to sell anything to to Navi there. Yeah, the utility to keep Navi honest was a little sparse, and Navi had a great read of it. Looks like this round is in. Navi's control once again. Simple has tucked his way all the way back to the A bomb site, and Bit is in a great position to find some action. Oh, now he's getting pinched though. Yeah, it's really awkward. He's, he lost electronic. He made steps so that they knew where he was. I think he was being flashed in by someone in the A bomb site to actually go for the initial find, but he just couldn't find anyone. That's really weird. 
four on four though, and credit to, to Bit for at least standing his ground for the minute. <laughs> oh, no, just turns away. He just, just gave, gave up on life? Yeah, just looking into the wall, hoping for the best. Hoping Simple would save him, probably, but Simple does find the one return. And it's a three on three. Bit is still around this connector, so he can find the fast flank. And now Simple has switched to the AK. This might be the weapon of choice in terms of dealing with a mass of players. Yeah. Let's see if he's gonna keep on throwing it back there. Picks up the AK. Also the AWP. I guess they don't want them to pick up anything out there either. I mean it's it's that's a high risk play to make in the middle of a round. It's one thing to do it at the end, but it kind of works out and simple. We'll pick up one more shot. Wild flick right at the truck. It's gonna be Mantu on his own and he will fall space very, very neatly, in fact. But Navi were able to quell it once they got closer to the site. But that could be interesting from OG's point of view if they realize, wait, we can take bathrooms, then we can execute onto the site. We can do everything. We'll see if they return to to that formula a little bit later on. It does give them a lot of intel. The fact that they're able to get that close up to A while expending minimal utility. This has been something that a lot of teams have been going for, this 1-4. It puts a lot of pressure for the A player, um, yeah. the CT side that is, in bit. And he's been doing a great job though. He's been staying alive. He's been getting a lot of information. If Navi are able to rely on bit in the way that they have been, this takes their overpass to a very high level. All he has to do is, I mean, stay alive, of course, but if you can get any kills out here or do any kind of damage, slow them down, that's going to be huge. They're hugging the wall, getting up long bit. It's already way back, and he's called in simple with the AWP. But, I mean, even then, they had the advantage of the four-man sediment B for the first 30 seconds of this round, and now they're back into a little bit more of an even position. Simple will find Nico out there. That's really unfortunate. They kind of have to go long now with the time that's left. They don't have a lot of time to switch, and that Molotov actually not meant to bounce that far forward. That's not a great look for Valde right now. He is the lone player coming up through short, and he has slowed himself down, actually. So this is going to be a primarily long focus play from OG. Bit will be holding the divider. This is an important fight, but he has the shadow advantage. So Bit's able to take him down, and now it should be a feeding frenzy for Simple. He will take down Alexi B. OG, they're just getting stopped in their tracks, and Navi, they're in complete control of the situation. Every player is here. They knew exactly what was happening. That looked very disjointed. I can kind of understand the slowdown after Nico gets killed. It's, it's just yet, but um, I don't know. If you're an OG fan, this is not what you want. No, you, you want the initial game plan to work out. The overpass pick was a curveball going into this veto, so you would think that OG would have identified some sort of weakness from Na'Vi in terms of the way they play their CT side, and Na'Vi probably didn't expect this map to come out from OG, so the edge in... The surprise factor is not working for OG just yet, but you know maybe they've discussed something, some plays that they have. I would love to just see in the next gun round some kind of uh, pocket strat, some kind of set piece, it's something that OG is really well known for, the fact that they have so many great set pieces. Yeah, they've surprised themselves, which is impressive. Oh, the boost. They've been looking for this for so long, and it's going to happen <laughs> just when they look away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a classic, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, that's the first rule of Counter Strike. As soon as you stop looking, it's yep. coming. But um, I've noticed because I've tried this for some reason. If you pretend to do it, it also doesn't work. Like if you're like, I'm gonna pretend to look away, and then you look back again. Yeah. It's like the game knows. You, you try to play it in your head such that, oh, I I think I'm gonna look away. Exactly. And, and then you can't beat it. You can't beat that person. Their timing was just yeah, it was <laughs> just always will work. Yeah. <laughs> dumb. He is imperative to the possible success of OG, but once again, they're, they're spreading for a default, and yeah, they are going to be contesting water. Flames has made it into the position, so he will be able to deny a lot of information from Navi. Ooh, simple. Tagged down very low early on, and he has to retreat. So this is going to be the least info Navi has had in an early round, but they try to find it, although Flames is there to greet Electronic. I don't know if he was playing anti-flash or if he was looking for the boost or what was going on, but he certainly did have his back turned, and that worked really well. Also around when Navi put pressure on the rest or, the, or on the playground finally, so you could tell Nico is kind of looking for for something out there. He's not sure where actually Navi are, and they are putting everyone in B. What's happening here? I mean, they did did it in the pistol round with three people, but they've just decided if it's A, we don't care, and they have money even. It's not like these are the only rifles they'll ever have. This seems like a huge gamble out of Navi. 
It is, and it may not pay off given the fact that OG have rerouted a few of their players. Their pack is towards A at this moment, and if Bit is able to find some information soon, they may be able to rotate towards A, but it looks like Navi are simply committing to this, and OG will have a free pathway towards this bomb site now. That is super interesting. Spending that time, though, I mean, having lost six rounds in a row, OG, I'm, I'm kind of impressed that they they didn't, because they were grouped outside of B. They could have just said, all right, let's just go for the timing, execute, but they actually take another couple of seconds, and they go check the bomb site. They're going to get the bomb plant down. Navi, they're not even going to think about retaking, so OG are on the board, finally. Yeah, this is very risky and kind of Gambit-esque to just go for a stack like this. It's something that... I don't think I would have imagined Navi a few years ago doing, but I think I think Gambit is up their game and has shown the value in going for these sort of stacks. Just this time, they the coin flipped, and it was not the side that they picked. I mean, I, I suppose if this is something that they practiced, Navi, and you have to assume, maybe it's fine, especially if the team, if it fails mentally, are like, all right, I would be worried that the team would have some, it would be very annoying and that the right, When you're on the OG side in that kind of situation, you're thinking to yourself, cool, we got one on the board, but we didn't even really have to play a complete round there. We found one pick and LXCB made a call. It was a good call, but it was also an uncontested call. Yeah. So you don't really feel like you may have earned that where you would with a five elimination round. Look at how aggressively they're playing. We were saying earlier that OG could just have the restrooms more or less for nothing. They could just walk up there and set up. Not been true either the last round or this round. Is he jumping over? I think he could almost see him on the slide there. Flames thinking about it. There's actually three people wow. here. Blind shot from Bit to take down Flames. That is... The crosshair could not have been in a better place. That is fantastic from Bit. And now Navi are just going to peel off. OG are not liking their chances towards A, and you can see that Navi, they already have a monster set up ready to catch the contact position play from OG. And this could be a massacre. Nose Flash coming out. You've got Perfecto playing Anti-Flash already. Oh no, he eats it completely. Alexi B with the double entry looking for more. A triple kill, and Navi are completely out of this round. <laughs> You're right. He was playing the Anti-Flash. He was turned around and somehow he still got flashed. I'd love to see the replay. Bit now in a one versus four, and he's not going to get anywhere near this bomb side. Maybe to pick up a gun, I don't know, but can't obviously fight for the retake. That is actually so strange. It looked like Navi, I mean, they knew what was coming. Like you said, they had already pushed them back from that A from the playground. I'm really, really confused. Yeah, there's the op that he wanted. What that, a weird round. I, I am not certain of where Perfecto was looking to get that bomb together in a row now. Bits able to still secure the op into the take. <laughs> Try to not, not get flashed. They're putting three people again. I don't know if they're going to connect to Navi, but they seem to be more and more aggressive over on this side of the map. Already spotted. He maybe could have had that kill. Bit is very low on health. A single grenade will do it, but he gets the oh. kill. There's the nade. And then the follow up double from Boomich. They were trying to wrap around through connector. And Alexi B and Valder both fell. And now Navi don't have to do anything, they can just ignore it. This one's going to really sting if you're OG. It's one of the faster paced rounds you've started with, fighting for that early fountain control and sprinting up connector, and you were brutally punished for, uh, for that one. That's, that's a call that Alexi B is going to probably rethink in the future. I mean, I, it seems like a cool idea that you could catch the people in birthday, if, but the people that are fighting for Fountain and the people coming out of Connector on the T side have to all stay alive for that to work. And Bit got one kill, and then that probably took the pressure off of Boomich, so just turn around and, and, you know, they must have lined up for him. Maybe we'll see in a second. What are they playing for now? Two versus four in are they 40 seconds left? What is the best that can happen here to OG, short of just outright winning the round like earlier? Wow. Okay. That's a start. Nico finds the headshot, but every player from Navi is already here. They, they already have two on the site. All the potential collateral was there, but Perfecto hits the headshot just a little faster. Nico takes down Perfecto, but does he know that there is another person lying in wait at barrels? In favor of Navi. Tenth round is coming up, and again, not quite as aggressive. A little bit further back for uh, for Navi over by the restrooms, but they are still showing up to uh, to try and 
make it a bit costly for OG if they wanted to go for it. Electronic on one side of the smoke, Nico on the other. He's thinking about walking through, and Electronic, he is the king of playing inside those smokes. And he's so good at fighting for map control early, especially around utility, and that is a prime example as to why. Good nade, though. That is a lot of damage onto Simple. Although Alexi B won't be able to do too much with that. It does set up a potential A hit that can be a lot stronger given the low HP of the A players, but either way, once again, Navi are in a good position. Five on four. They've given up a lot of control, although Bit is still playing the front of bathroom. That's a great spot to get an early warning. Yeah, and Simple is covering long. They're gonna boost really far back. Trying to take the fight to Simple. They're both sort of strafing to try and get out here. Eventually, it'll fail. 40 seconds. They don't know what's happening on the B side of the map right now, so falling back it cost them time that they just don't have. Flames goes down to Electronic. There is a return kill. Simple gonna be dropped, but now reinforcements is gonna be here. It's once again gonna be a heavily stacked bomb site for Navi. It's such a luxury they've had almost every single time, whether it's A or B, they just have the entire force here, and there's no chance. 18 seconds, bombs on the other side. Man 2 will have to back on out. These rotations from Navi are just very effective right now. They're oppressive. They are. What I can think of on the T side of overpass is for four of the people on the T side to do whatever they want to do, but for one person to be, you know, outside of B, just that, that outside B anchor that just can always apply a little bit of pressure, kind of what Winiko is doing here, in fact. Maybe that could keep Navi from having these great rotations, just anything to keep them honest, because I guess what we're seeing so far is whenever that's not happening, that they read it really well, and they don't have any fear in rotating three people out of the B bomb side in the middle of the round. So just, I don't know, you, you, you have to have someone that can make some noise, even, even if it's just a flashbang, anything, to keep them from having those rotations. Sometimes when you see a team getting stuff like this on the T side, they'll revert to a 2-1-2, two -two, which is a less standard T side default, but it's something where you can just be active on both sides. And with kind of how one direc directional, I wouldn't say one dimensional the play of OG is, but just the fact it's all focused, that could be something that they would consider. But Simple is in a tough spot right now. He's getting spammed down, had to use a lot of utility to get himself out of this position, but he will escape. Yeah, that could have been really scary. Not really sure if he's there still. Three people near the A bomb side again for Navi. And actually, bit pushing up. Simple gonna get a kill on Flames. Just trying to see if he could maybe reach that corner and look into the A site. 30 seconds on the clock. It's gonna be bit to take the face off. Nico jumps up. And well, it's gonna be the trade anyway for Boomich. Simple's there to clean it up. And now it's Mantu with 20 seconds and a one versus three. And Simple's playing this one smartly. Why go for it? Why not wait until Electronic is there? So even if Mantu hits a shot, he's gonna get traded. Hard to play against. I love the fact that Bit, at that moment, went up to, to actually bring the fight <laughs> to OG that we're trying to execute. Yes, he met them right in their faces towards short there. That is a... That's an experienced move that early on. Chance here. I, Simple's holding it. He's actually holding the block right now. Fair play to him. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. All right. Great minds and all that. Just putting myself <laughs> yeah. on the side of Simple here. <laughs> all right, that's fair. You did call it. Uh... Yeah, the difference is he might actually hit the shot. Um, <laughs> Mac 10 on Nico. He was, he's still playing that. I like the fact that he's playing outside of B. I just, I feel like whatever they do, they must find a way, even if they end up hitting the A bombs, I just keep Navi somewhat honest. The bomb is making his way back. Flames is over on long. Not the most aggressive setup for Navi in terms of being forward on the map, but just enough outside of A that they could call for the rotation if they need to. It's a little bit of a gamble for Navi. They, they aren't really putting eyes on long right now. They're, they're hoping that Bit would be able to swivel around, but either way, they have three players towards B. OG finally have great control towards water, although they give it all up. Looks like they might just want to go for the full monster hit. No, they switch positions, and it looks like Alexi B will be attempting to set a couple of his players up. Oh yeah, a little bit of a nade on the other side. 30 seconds on the clock. There's still plenty of nades on the Navi side. Molotovs as well. They're gonna really slow them down and they're forced to try and push through. But yeah, I mean, there's a Molotov in that tunnel that really slowed them down. And now we're about 20 seconds. Perfecto will drop the bomb and also Nico following up. CT side thus far. Excellent reads. 
The rotations have been on point, and it feels like they just know what OG is going to do before OG even do it. That actually is what it looks like. Speaking of which, shooting Alexi through the smoke as he was backing out of the tunnel. And Nico will go down to follow it up. The Eagle's not even getting a chance right now. Oh, this might be an opportunity, a window? No, bit. What an insane jiggle. Wow. <laughs> he's, okay. He's reading it. Yeah, yeah he's just, he's got a lot to call because they're not getting a heck of a lot of information, but Simple's getting some damage in. Oh, that was close, but Flames has already passed the point where the nade would hurt. Oh, he's still going for more. Wow, okay, Simple is just feeling himself right now. But he doesn't get the kill just yet, and that's a nice tr find from Flames. Four on four. This might be a situation that OG can work with, but no, the push! Perfecto takes down Nico, although Valde, he might have a timing here. Yeah, Dave probably feel like they've already cleared it. He's just walking into the bomb site. Can't believe they actually pushed through the monster tunnel into a smoke and managed to get the kill. But I think you might be onto something here. Valde sneaking in. Crouched all the way through. There is no reason why he should be here in the minds of Navi. Did he oh. see it? He probably does, just waiting for it. No, he misses the opportunity. And now the question is, can they get back into line here? Perfecto will go down. Alexi B with a good follow-up. Now a three on three, and maybe one of the best chances here for OG to finally pick up another round on the board. It's been such a long time coming. They do have electronic bit and boom, which is still alive. And like Including a smoke on bit. If they ever get onto the bomb side, that could be interesting. Flash is out around the corner. Counter flash don't really do much at the moment. Electronic goes down. Boomich not checking it quite properly. Bit trying to fight on his own. And he's going to close out on 15. Yeah, at least. At least try and get that fourth round in there. And now we have had money the whole half. They've been able to buy all the time, which is so rare. Simple relocating from the A side of the map down into the water outside of B and he's going to be taken down Nico was not expecting it oh, oh. Okay, nice another nice find Valde's been the bailout man for OG and once again he wants to lurk out this is a really big duel and he'll back off from it found out some information there and that could once again influence Alexi P's call four on four bit walking up behind the timing is good and the org gonna be the bomb and he must have spotted that as well Still plenty of time. But what do they do? They have to respect the fact that Bit is here. Valdez maybe going to go and pick up the bomb on his own. But that's also just a little bit scary. Electronic going to get me found by Mantu. Boomich not aware either. Flames already walked past. Maybe some miscommunication if an Avi. Uh, two on three. Bit now coming back for more. But Valdez watching it. He knows. Oh. He's going to get the kill. That is such a critical shot there for Valdez to pick up. That just leaves Perfecto, and he is sorely outpositioned here. There's a smoke in his face at bank. He's considering the push through. Does find a little bit of a, a gap in it. But he backs on up, and they are well aware of his position. Tosses out the molly. This might be able to force Flames out. Oh, there's so many eyes on him, and yeah, there's just not too much for him to do there. Montu takes him down, and that is going to be every situation so well. He was in constantly situations where he has to juggle multiple positions and just making the, the proper reads and really hitting all of his shots. So, it's easier said than done. Yeah, and just in case he was ever going to miss a shot, Simple is playing on the same side of the map with him. Some so insurance. You, yeah, you're yeah. just relegated to not really getting a lot done on that side of the map. Maybe that was part of the problem. Um, I do like Alexi as a, as a captain, and he's just very direct in his approach to the whole thing. You know, he's not, not mincing his words on any level, so that's kind of cool. Man, too, almost could have found someone, but also almost could have been found. Bit getting shot in his feet. Bomb is outside of B. So this looks like Navi are actually looking for information. Now, there are a lot of people here from the OG side pushing up aggressively, and they might get caught. Bit, they're a one-for-one -one trade. I think if Perfecto heard a bunch of people step, then, well, now they know anyway, Simple's down here. Ooh, interesting turn of events. This is the kind of information that OG just never had in the entire first half, but Navi just discovered a lot of people on A. Let's just send Simple in and get something done. I kind of like this, and Perfecto's now holding the, the door here, jumping out, but Glock close range. Gonna cut that kill even more damage, and they're so low on health, they actually can't do anything. Just 23 HP combined between the two of them. And <laughs> yeah, this is 
a 12th round for Navi. OG already falling all the way back. And yeah, that's that's actually completely true. The only time they were getting any sort of information like that was towards Long with Flames or with Valde walking out of Monster. Right. And already on the pistol, Navi is setting the tone. They're, they're saying that we, we can take space from you with individuals and we'll just make the right mid rounds because of that. It's something that is such a huge strategic luxury for an IGL like Boomich when one of your players has an entire bomb site by himself. Yeah, that really helps. They have to, because it's not looking too pretty right now. It is, in fact, it is sailing through stormy weather against Navi. Well, here's a chance at least. Deagle's in play, CZ up close, Electronic, he's just walking through the tunnel with an AK in hand. Could be dangerous if he gives it up. There's no one there that can actually save it for his team, but he just walks in and gets a kill casually. Just the nade stack too on top of that. Boomich there holding for the re-swing. OG had a cool plan in this round. On Flames' his contact, throw the double nade, hopefully catch some Navi players out. But as soon as Electronic gets the kill, he peels away and takes minimal damage. That is just that's just perfect from him. There's there's nothing more that he really could have or should have done any better. Yeah, that's the theme, isn't it, for Navi in this in this map so far. It's all working out perfectly. They're getting whatever they want at the moment. Now Electronic is back. Gonna realize where Nico is. Swats the second player. A little bit of a delay. Ooh, that's a nice shot for Alexi, but you've got to give him credit for that one. Three on three. The bomb is miles away in T-spawn almost. And um, so they can take the bomb site, but they, uh, they're gonna have to wait another 10 seconds before the bomb could be planted. That's a bit awkward, isn't it? Yeah, but immediately, after Electronic and Boomich figure out what's going on towards B, Navi just sped up towards A. They have complete control of the site right now. This is a confusing little smoke pathing coming out that could allow some cheeky plays from the CTs here, but it looks like the majority of the retake will be coming from Bank. Nico's able to get one bit with the quick return. It does seem like Navi has good information now as to where these last CTs are. It's just about hitting their shots. Bit holding the line. Perfecto goes for the challenge against Alexi B, and Montu is out of the round and swiftly making their way on to Inferno. Is it second map? Oh, Dust 2, right? Dust 2. Dust 2 was Navi's pick Damn. for map number 2. I actually, I guess OG could still do some damage on that map, so maybe that's kind of good news. Montu has been impressive on it lately, I must say. So, anything's possible. If he's able to find some form on the AWP. I don't think it, I, I think it makes every Navi fan a little bit nervous, the fact that ways to lose. 21 and 6 on Bit, he's having himself an incredible game right now. Uh, I guess my worry about OG playing Dust 2 at the moment is just, if they don't even really get warmed up in this first map too, like it feels like none of them are, maybe Valda has shown some, some individual play, Alexi has shown some individual stuff. But I'd love for, uh, for more of them to to just play some basic Counter-Strike here and win some fights against Na'Vi, that would be a good start. I mean, th this, is, this isn't even a map that has featured a bunch of, you know, close 2v2s that just happened to go Na'Vi's way, and it was like it was could have maybe worked out. This just has been very, very one-sided. We can't, we can't really sex this up any more than we can. <laughs> Na'Vi has been dominant, sure, just simply speaking. And the players that Maniac and the rest of the desk were highlighting, Montu and Flames, Despite the fact that they both had solid pro leagues, they they aren't really showing up here, and that is extra concerning. But we'll see if Montu can get himself going. Bit was teasing him there, showing just a little bit of skin, but either way, he will escape with his life. Oh, the aggression, but Perfecto was ready for it, playing anti-flash behind the wall. Now, a great Molly, oh man, Navi are just decimating OG on this site, just deconstructing it one piece at a time. Oh, that's a little messy. But either way, it will be four alive for Navi in the post plant. Try to stab him with the AK-47. That's <laughs> that is aggressive. Man to a Nico, two versus four, and yeah, they're miles away. That, that everything about that, the flashbang that came in for the booster, that come from the from the barrels. I would think so. I would, think, yeah. Because it looked like when they came through the monster tunnel, they, they it looked like they just knew. They're like, oh, flashbang, someone's boosting. Oh, we know where the flash is coming from. We'll go kill us. They just like, yeah. it just lines up for Navi in an extreme way. Yeah, as soon as they got that kill, they instantly mollied the barrels and just yeah. were just all over that player. So 
That was a round where you know, OG just gave Navi one choice. This is the kind of round where you would just love to see Montu get a, a couple of kills, gain some confidence going into D2. He's already being tagged down quite low. And Boomich has taken so much control. There's a player outside Monster while there's a player in Water. Navi are just all over this B side of the map right now. And Electronic was sitting fighting them at the barrels. He's just walk it's the beginning of the round. He's just walking in there to get the job done. Boomich gonna find the time against Flames. Still three people at this B bomb site, but now they have so much time. Bit and Perfecto are doubling up to check out the A side of the map right now. So they can spend that time figuring that out. They probably have a decent count. Oh, that's that's a nice damage. Boom, which nearly dies. You can see Navi are implementing this sort of 2-1-2 default on their T side, and it's something that I was hoping OG would switch to. I think they did use it maybe one round, but it, it puts a lot of emphasis on the individuals like Boomich there, just finding that pick into a short, short water, but it's, uh, it gives you so much information, and that's something that when Navi have, they've shown that they can just make the right read. They can make the right call, and especially if it's the in-game leader himself who's finding everything out. Speaking of which, Alexi's checking outside of B and finding no one. So he's actually done the hard work, risky play, but now they know they need to rotate A. So this is what won Navi a bunch of rounds on the CT side, being able to be in the right position at the right time. And I think Alexi's move outside of B just gave OG something similar here. Three people on the A bomb side, 10 seconds left on the clock. Classic Navi style. Eight seconds now. Perfecto gonna find the kill. Simple will find one. And they're looking for the bomb plant. They fought their way back in electronic.